Hey Gaming Geek here with a follow-up video from last week where I showed you guys how to make these modular boards. And so if you haven't seen that video, go ahead and feel free to click here. Otherwise, this week we're gonna be taking a look at some of the terrain that you can make or print or buy for your urban modern tabletop games. And for me, that's gonna be Marvel Crisis Protocol. And as I mentioned last week, the thing that I like about this is that all of the models are in 40 millimeter, which allows us to go to O scale. O scale is a type of scale that is found in trains. And because of that, there are some purchase options that you can make of pre-painted and pre-built um, buildings. And so I'm gonna go ahead and show you all three options. Uh, starting off first with the cars that I got. Secondly, the uh, cardstock options where you're printing, that's the cheapest. And then the 3D printed models that are here. And then finally, the most expensive but easiest option, which is to buy these pre-made kits. Let's go ahead and first dive into the vehicles that you see here on the board. O scale is 143 scale. And one of the things to realize about the scale um, comparison is that the bigger the second number, the smaller the model is going to be. For O scale, you want something like 143 or another option is 148, which is gonna be actually a little bit smaller. Now, where I purchased some of these cars is from Hobby Lobby, and it came in a box just like this. And as you notice here, there is no scale indicator. So I actually don't know exactly what scale this is in. I'm assuming that it is 143 because I did see some models that I think is 148, which is slightly smaller. But this scale I think works well. I actually went to Sam's Club and they had a three car gift set that was on sale. And I, bought, I got really excited about it because the lights on them really work and they make noise. But when I brought them home, I realized that they were a different scale. So definitely you want to bring uh, some of your cars with you just to make sure that it is the right scale because it's really hard to tell. And I think the Sam's Club models were at 1 30th scale, which is a little bit too big. So it is hard when you go online to really be able to tell what scale they are. And at a lot of stores I found like this box, it actually doesn't say. Hobby Lobby, if you use a 40% off, this is normally $8. It bumps it down to $5, and so I think this is a pretty good deal. So check that out. Also, I found this bus, Amazon. It might be 150th scale. I'm not entirely sure, but it is definitely a smaller scale than these cars, but uh, it was the closest that I, that I could find, and I think it was about $20, and I think this transit bus is really cool. So having the cars sort of figured out, let's go ahead and move on to our building options. And again, we're going to start off with the cheapest options. And so over here, we see the cardstock where you download and you print off on cardstock. And I use, I think it's 110-pound paper that I buy at Walmart. And I print it off in color and basically they're really easy to cut and to glue together. And here's a pro tip. Uh, go ahead and grab a pen, a ballpoint pen, a cheap one. Pull out the ink from the ballpoint pen uh, end. You have to be really careful because you don't want to get that ink everywhere. And basically you have to spend quite a bit of time writing out the remainder of the ink that's inside of the end. But once you have that, I use that as my tool to run along any fold lines and it makes folding cardstock super easy. So that's a pro tip. For the most part, I use a glue stick to glue cardstock together and I find that that works really well. But for the sp spots where you need an instant bond, I actually do use super glue and that uh, makes it stick really well. Again, just be careful not to glue your fingers together onto the project. But as you can see here, look at McDooms. I think that this model looks really, really nice. And on the board, even though it's cardboard, uh, I think that it is really uh, passable for having a lot of terrain cheaply. And so if you go to Fat Dragon Games and look at their city set that I referenced last week for the modular board, um, you can basically for $14 get a bunch of buildings and you can fill out an entire um, game board 
with just their models. And they are pretty tall. Now, I opted for shorter buildings because it makes a gameplay a little bit easier. But if you look at some of these pictures here, you can see that you can create a whole city block relatively quickly and it looks pretty nice. I have to say that these cardstock models look pretty nice and uh, aren't gonna break the bank. Another website that you might wanna go to is Worldworks and they have some really nice models that you can print as well. So those are really two good options. If you're sort of on a budget and you wanna fill up your tabletop quickly with buildings, I would definitely go with printing out these options yourself. Now the second option that you can have are these 3D printed models. And these models that I purchased were from Corvus Belly. They're the ones who make Infinity and I'll leave a link uh, for all of these down below in the descriptions. And so I purchased these buildings and here you can see with these three, uh, these two are the same, but um, I scaled them differently. So this one here, the um, gun store is actually as is, I didn't scale it at all, and it is scaled for 28 millimeter. And this building over here, I scaled up to 115%, but on Corvus's uh, website, they actually say scale it up to 126. This third building here is scaled up to 126% of the original size. And as you can see, it is larger and it might fit the scale a little bit better, but honestly, I think all three of these buildings fit the scale of all of the miniatures. If you look at this building that came with the core set, the Daily Bugle, it's pretty small. And so it looks more like 28 millimeter scale to me, not 40 millimeter. So at the end of the day, I think the scaling issue isn't that big of an issue or a problem as long as you remain relatively consistent. But uh, with these buildings are really cheap. And so for only like three or four dollars, you can buy one of these sets. And as you can see here, if you just scale it a little bit differently or add a whole nother story, uh, you can't tell that this is the same building model. And that can fill up your board relatively quickly as well. And then here is the police station that is also on sale for, at Corvus. And you can see that it turned out really nicely. I did scale it up to 126%, so it is larger. I'm not gonna provide a painting tutorial. I basically Googled a search for how to paint model railroad buildings and followed theirs. So it wasn't that difficult, it wasn't that hard. I really didn't like though how this building turned out, so I just slapped this large poster uh, on the side of the building. And all these posters I basically just um, found on uh, the internet and pulled it out and printed it and uh, that I didn't really do anything. And even this graffiti here on this building, I just printed it out, cut it out and glued it on with my glue stick. So you have a lot of options with what to do with these buildings, but definitely 3D printed is a step up. If you don't have a 3D printer, I did notice that this building here is on sale uh, on Etsy. Someone is selling these buildings pre-printed at a pretty good price, I think. And so if you don't have a 3D printer, I do think this is a good option. Although I don't know if they scaled it up 126%. So these are really good options and can fill up your table relatively quickly. Now, the third option is the most expensive, but requires the least amount of work. So if you are flush on cash and not so much on time, this might be the option for you. So these buildings are actually from Menards. Now Menards is a, I think a only Midwest a sort of a hardware general store. And so I was surprised when I found out that they make O-scale terrain for trains. These are readily available. If you look at their catalog or if, or if you look online, they have some awesome sets. And as you can see, they have lights, they have moving parts. And the greatest thing though, is you can just put them right on the table and you're ready to go. And they have all kinds of buildings. They have industrial style buildings. They had a I think a dog food building, they had a nuclear power plant. One of the sets that I think is really cool is they had a Starbucks set and a Taco Bell set. I really wanted the Taco Bell set, but I had already spent $100 on this grocery store, so I didn't want to put any more money into it. But you can see, this is, this is awesome. If I had more money, uh, I would buy more of these buildings rather than going through the process of printing these things out on my 3D printer and painting them because it took forever to print these things out. And then the added work of needing to paint them as well. I picked up this garage over here, 
for only $30. So this was relatively cheap. I know that there are other manufacturers. I think Woodland Scenics makes pre-painted and um, LED lighted terrain as well. I think they have a corner building that's super cool, but they all are over $100. So that's the thing. You are, you are basically spending uh, the same amount of money or more than what the base game of Crisis Protocol costs in order to purchase really quality terrain. So that's pretty much it for the terrain options for modern day games and an urban environment like this. And so if it's not Marvel Crisis Protocol, then it might be a zombie game or a post-apocalyptic game. Any of those options might be good. If you like this video, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more videos on gaming. And if you're interested, go ahead and click below to my link to become a Patreon supporter. Every month we have a giveaway and for this next month of December 2019, we're going to be giving away a gift card, a $100 gift card, uh, in order to purchase games during this holiday season. So if you're interested in that, go ahead and click below. But otherwise, happy gaming and we'll see you next time.